of net zero at all costs. Oh, absolutely. I think people have been just captured by this new cult, the new cult of the green energy and everything being free and clean and happy and bouncing across fields, when the reality is, as you and I will know, from being in the north, seeing those council estates that we grew up in, there will be millions of pensioners this year who cannot afford to turn on their gas mm -hmm. or their electricity or their lights because people living in wonderful big homes where I live in Winchester can afford to do so, but they're promoting this net green zero policies. And my view is we've got to stop it and pause it to allow those people to be able to have cheaper energy so that can survive the winter. I do not want to see one death in this country caused by people not being able to afford their energy bills. Because Alex has got an important point there where he says, well, hang on a minute, we're talking about the heat waves that we're experiencing right now, you know, it's a bit hot outside, <laughs> but actually we're not talking about the deaths from cold related weather, right? So this winter, if we have a cold winter with prices as high as they are, you are going to face people actually shivering to death in some cases. Yes, absolutely. And I know this because I talk to members of my family. I even look at my own self. My own personal gas bill has gone up from £960 to £1,600 before the increases that we'll get in October and then we're being told January of next year. So how are those pensioners who are only earning around £700 to £800 a, a month on a state pension that won't see that pension rise by 15 or 20% yeah. this year to cover the additional cost. Oh, no, they'll get two or three if they're lucky. They're going to struggle, and I think some people are going to be seriously ill and face death. Stephen Wolf.